inside a cockpit of an Evtol, which is actually coming to market in China in 2026. It's going to be in mass production before you know it. And this is unlike any autonomous vehicle that you've ever seen, and not just because it has propellers. So I'm here with the CEO, uh, Wang Tang, who's going to give us a walkthrough of some of the controls that are right in front of us. And uh, maybe just start with like who you feel like the target audience is of this device. Yes, it's a good question that uh, actually we have, uh, we think about over all views, uh, the human beings is a three dimension animal, but the transportation actually is a, is a little bit two dimension, right? Yeah. Even we have the subway, we have the, the bridge, but uh, if we think about how to solve the problem like the conjures, uh, like the traffic jam, so we need to have a uh, you know, the low altitude uh, flying car. The, like the, the, the giant vehicle showed that uh, we have a six wheel setup and with six wheels, all wheels drive. Mm -hmm. And the two different uh, lock on the rear two exhaust, it can go a little bit off road. So I think someone who like go off road, go outside, go the wild, they will buy this car. So in a way, this could be like the next step for recreational vehicles, where a lot of times when people get to their destinations, they'll send up a drone to get like the best view of what they're seeing. Imagine in the future with where you could actually be in the driver's seat and seeing things above you from a completely different perspective, and you're in total control. If we're taking a look at, at the controls here, you can see that there is a built-in joystick, but what I like is that the autonomy and the AI that's built in, you'll be able to, let's say, touch your destination and it'll automatically take you there. But in terms of the controls, if you were to take them over, how would you like take off and land, for example? Yeah, this is, um, this is we use, we call it a single stick control system. Mm -hmm. Just use one joystick. And we, if you want to take off, just to use your thumbs, just to push up yep. and it can fly. Yep. And if you want to land, you can do like this. Right. So it's super easy to learn. You might be wondering how you're going to get this air module around. You know, behind me, we have what's called the mothership. And this kind of looks like the Cybertruck makes it look like a wimp <laughs> in terms of how big this thing is. But again, it has the air module on the inside. And it has enough power for about six charges. So you could fly around, come back to the mothership, get juiced up, and then go back out for another couple of hours. And there's some other cool features that are built in. So for example, on the left and right hand side here, we have a, instead of a side view mirror, there's a side view camera that pops out from the side. And in the back, there's a transparency window so you can see out so other people can't see in. As we take a look around this vehicle, you can see why the mothership more than lives up to its name. And then in terms of the, the range, you know, we've been talking about, okay, so how far can you go on a charge? The battery life as of right now, because I think the, the primary thing right now for this company is safety, right? So you can go about two hours or so on a charge, and it's about max 90 kilo, uh, kilometers per hour, which is about you know 50 miles an hour, but you're not gonna go that fast because it's gonna drain the charge a little bit too fast. So let's say you would go like what, maybe like 20 to 25 miles out max? Actually, the, it can fly tens of miles, but the one thing is very important is that to, we use the, the mothership, I mean the, the mothership to charge for this air module. Yep. It costs uh, less than 20 minutes. Less than 20 minutes to charge? Yes, because okay. we use the 800 voltage system. Okay. So as long as you come back to the mothership, you could then, you know, get back home. And that, that whole thing together, is that what we're saying would be about 300,000 or so? It would be this plus the, the car? Yes, the air module plus the Grand module together, we, we sell this money. Okay, so are you a Transformers fan of the cartoon? And that, is that what that <laughs> yes. <is> that? <laughs> yes, I am. Do you feel like we're, we're almost there? We're almost there, I think. I do believe the future is coming. Overall, I think the ebb toll from Xping definitely is one of the most exciting gadgets here at CES 2025. And I think it points the way towards a future where we're gonna be a lot more in control about where we go and how we get there. For more videos from CES 2025, make sure you go to YouTube and check out Tom's Guide and follow us across all of our social channels at Tom's Guide. I'm Mark Spoonauer.